Hey everybody, welcome back to the Albuquerque 737 Experience. I'm Jamie and this is episode 4. We're going to be talking about the Electronic Flight Instrument System, or the EFIS. As you may notice, we're in a new house now, so I have plenty of room to work on the project. I've got a garage for all of my woodworking, and uh, we've got a room just for the sim upstairs. I'll show you what that looks like in a little bit. Let's get into it. So before I show you guys the EFIS, I just want to give a quick shout out to some people that have been active on the videos, uh, leaving comments and asking questions, uh, subscribing, things like that. We've got the Inferno, we've got Errol Edwards, and forgive me for mispronouncing this, but the Len or the Lenny 12. Um, thank you guys very, very much for being involved. I appreciate the questions and the comments and the feedback. Uh, keep it coming and make sure you let your friends know, you know about the site and we'll uh, keep this going. It's also a good time to say that we've also got a Facebook, so make sure you guys uh, like on there and follow me. You'll get a lot of stuff that you don't see in the videos. So here is the Captain's Side EFIS. It is very, very well constructed. It's nice and heavy. It's got a single point that it connects to the uh, MCP with. So. That's really easy to do. The knobs are um, very well constructed. They have a very heavy feel to them. The buttons require a good amount of pressure to get them to work. So you're not going to have an accidental press on there. These are good. Um, your range selector. Very happy with it. The flight officer side of this is going to be the same thing except this fin here will be reversed and then the connection will also be on the other side, but otherwise should look the same. So on each side of the MCP there is a connection. On the EFIS you have this little guy here. So this just goes and plugs in directly into here. Okay, let's turn on our backlighting. Looks great. Okay, so let's go ahead and give this a quick test and see if it does what it's supposed to do. So. All right, that's doing what it should be doing. Let's check our range. Okay, that works really well. Okay. There we go there. And keep in mind that this is a PMDG. Uh, once I have sim avionics, it's going to have a different um, behavior. But let's go ahead and... Everything works great. Couldn't ask for more. So CP Flight has two EVISs available to us at this time. Um, the Pro 2 model is 400 euro and is the closest you're going to get to an authentic replica out of any of the alternative products. It says it's full scale here. It looks fairly close to the real thing. Uh, however, it is not available for two weeks per the website. The cheaper model is the EL version. It says it's full scale as well, but as you can see, it is uh, not authentic in any way, shape, or form. The colors are wrong. The placement's wrong. Um, but quite a bit cheaper at 200 euro. So our next one is from Flying Gravity. 
It says here that it's a joint production between CP Flight and Gravity, and it's the Pro 1 model. So I'm assuming this is the predecessor to the Pro 2 model I just showed you. Uh, this one's coming in at 300 euro. Um, again, it says it's full scale. Uh, the knobs are not terribly authentic, but um, if, if you're not looking for absolute realism, it's got everything you need for a working EFIS. So the next one is from Go Flight. Um, honestly, this is just sad. Um, it's if you're going for any kind of realism whatsoever, this is just not the one you want. And at two hundred and fifty dollars, um, you could get something far more realistic than this. So even if you're just going for functional, this is not a good idea. So this one's going to be our best economical choice. Uh, not terribly authentic or realistic, however, it does have all the knobs. So at 144 euro, it's a good deal if you're looking for function versus authenticity. So as you come up the stairs, we have a big open space here, and this is where the sim is going to live. We're going to have the nose facing that wall over there, and then we're going to have the instructor station against the wall in the corner over there. We'll be able to fit a 15 foot, 220 degree screen right there. Um, it is eight foot tall. It's gonna be a little short on height, but I have a plan for that. I'm actually gonna take out part of the ceiling to uh, make room for the projectors. I'm gonna use three projectors for this, but it should work nicely. I'm gonna use a, I'm gonna build a curtain system for this so that I can black all this out when I'm using it. And then I can retract it so I can have natural light in here. So that's about all I have for you guys on the EFIS. Um, I know I said that I was gonna order the throttle quadrant next, but I found some problems with the manufacturer I was gonna buy from, so I decided to halt that for right now. So what I did order is the modular nose section from Flight Tech Solutions. It shipped yesterday, it'll be here on Wednesday. So I'll have a video up for that pretty soon. I've also been messing with some software, so uh, I'll probably do some videos for those as well. Anyway, thanks for being super patient on getting the video out with the move and everything. I know it was a little bit delayed. Thank you to all the new followers, and if you guys have any questions at all, please uh, contact me either on um, Facebook or on YouTube directly, or you can get my email as well. I hope you enjoy the videos, and I'll see you guys in a couple of weeks.